Well, the snow already falling, which is very exciting for people who are looking to get out to Ellicottville this season, especially Canadian travelers who are full, fully vaccinated and looking to visit for the first time in almost two years. Our Liz Lewin has more on what they can expect. Hello there, Liz. Hi, Claudine. Well, Monday marks exactly one week since U.S. borders reopened to Canadians and other foreign nationals and local businesses couldn't be happier about seeing a boost in tourism dollars again. Ellicottville is a four season favorite destination around here, especially this time of year. I touched base with spokespeople for both Holiday Valley and Hollymont who say they're excited to welcome back their loyal Canadian guests. While safety is certainly still top of mind, Ellicottville again is more than ready to welcome back Canadians to the slopes, to the shops and of course to the community. Jane Eshbaugh says the border reopening is very encouraging and a great start to kicking off what she hopes will be a busy winter season at Holiday Valley and entertaining the local crowd in Western New York. While it's been great, Eshbaugh says the return of international travelers and tourism is going to significantly help as far as sales are concerned. It's all about getting Ellicottville safely back to the place people know and love with that vibrant energy in the midst of these challenging times. I don't think we're going to be as busy with local people this year because, you know, people are going back to work, kids have school, kids have sports. So the Canadians will come back and fill that little gap and it'll be great. Everyone in Ellicottville is very excited about it when it comes to the visitors that are coming in from Canada and elsewhere who haven't been here in since March of 2020. So all the stores, the restaurants, uh, the, all the vendors in town, we're all excited that we're finally going to see Ellicottville back to what it used to be. Now, Hollymont is providing free PCR and rapid testing Thursdays, Fridays and Saturdays at the base of the Sunset Chairlift. Pritchard says that this is to help make things easier for those Canadians who are wanting to visit and need to get back over the border as efficiently as possible. Claudine Eshbaugh says the goal is to open the slopes right up after Thanksgiving, of course, all dependent on Mother Nature and whether or not she wants to cooperate. We're hoping she does. In the Information Center, Liz Lewin, Channel 2 News.